Now I want to rotate this around the object. Now keep in mind these are united. I'm going to go to the R key, R for rotation, the rotation tool. I'm going to pick a point to rotate from, click, and I'm going to go and grab this and move it. As I move it, I hold down the Option key to make a clone copy with Alt key for Windows and the Shift key to constrain it. Always let go of your mouse hand first. Let go of your mouse hand first. So what I've done here generically is I have transformed it. What have I transformed? I have transformed the object. Anything about the object is on the object menu. Object transform. Anything that falls under this category plus cloning, which I accomplished by holding down the option key, is a form of transformation. So I, in this particular case, I moved it, I rotated it, plus I cloned it generically. Specifically, I moved it, rotated it, and cloned it. Generically, I have transformed it. I can repeat the transformation by simply hitting Command D for duplicate. Duplicate what I just did inside of Macintosh, Command D, inside of Windows, Control D. So watch this, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D. Now, for those of you that have seen my other videos, this is pretty straightforward stuff. But the cool thing about this is now these objects are separate. So I can move this out to here. In fact, watch this. I can select this object, Shift key, select this object, select this object, select this object. I want these objects to go out further than the inside objects. So how can I accomplish this? I can go to my Scale tool. As for Scale, hit the Return key. This is going to transform it from the center. Transform it from the center in order to affect the four objects. I need to select the four objects with my Direct Selection tool. I did that by simply holding down the Command key because that tool I initialized before I got started by hitting the A key. The A key selects the Direct Selection tool. So let's make these select objects a little smaller. So I'm going to make this 75% and hit the Return key. So this is now 75% smaller. So now I have a totally different object. Command Z, let's undo this. Okay, now Command Z. Let's take this into a slightly different direction. Okay, first of all, let's make this smaller to begin with. I'm going to go to the S key, hit the return key for scale. Let's scale it at, say, 70%. Okay, I just want to move this up a little bit, so I'm going to hit the up arrow key. Incidentally, Command K, Macintosh, Control K, Windows. I'm going to set my keyboard increments to a quarter inch. Now, this defaults to points in Picus. This defaults to points. There's 72 points to an inch. But let me share with you what I can do. I can simply say, I want to make this a quarter inch. Now, I know that there's 72 points to an inch, so I can actually say 72 divided by 4. 72 divided by 4 is 18. 18 is a quarter inch. Or... I could do 0.25 inches or 0.25 in. Either way works. Now what that does for me by hitting Command K preferences is when I hit the up arrow key, it's going to move a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch down, quarter inch to the left, quarter inch to the right, quarter inch down. So we're going to do this. Now again, I want to make this a little smaller. So as for scale, hit the return key. Let's do it another 70% by hitting the return key. And let's just move this up a little bit. Right about there. So now I want to have 17 of these. 17 of these from this point right here. So how can I do that? Well, I need to go to my rotation tool. R for rotation. There's four transformation tools. The rotation tool, the scale tool, the skew tool, the reflection tool. Each tool works exactly the same way. There's three ways to use the same tool. By hitting the return key, it's going to transform the object, the select object, from the center. Or, as I demonstrated before, I could pick a point to transform from. So if I pick this point, it's going to rotate from that point. Command Z does that. So if I hit the return key, it's going to do it from the center of the selected object or I can click a point and track myself. 
But if I want the best of both worlds, I want to get a dialog box, plus I want to transform it from the center. So how can I accomplish this? Well, since I have a guide here, I can hold down the Option key for Macintosh, the Alt key for Windows, hold down the Option key, click. Now I get the best of both worlds. Now I get to pick my transformation point, plus I get a dialog box. I want 17 of these. So I can say how many degrees in a circle? 360 divided by 17. And I want to make a copy. So there's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Exactly. Exactly. Now, again, keep in mind that these are united as one, but if you hit to command Y, view, outline, you'll see that these are technically separate objects. They're all separate objects. Command Y, Macintosh, Control Y, Windows. It toggles between outline mode, preview mode, outline mode, preview mode. So I'm going to select by holding down the command key plus the shift key. I'm going to just arbitrarily select every other one. Now, since I have it on a mound here, it's not going to equal here. So let's just select, let's select this top one. Let's select this bottom one here, this bottom one here, this one, and this one. I just want to make these bigger. So how can I do that? Well, they're selected so they can be affected. So if I hit the scale tool, hit the return key, it's going to scale it from object's center point. It's going to mathematically take the center and it's going to scale the object. We're going to say 145% and hit the return key. And if I want, I could go command D, another 145%. Now, these are not touching, but technically it's united. So that means if I select the circle and I want to make it pink, they're all going to be pink because technically they're united. So let's undo this command Z. Okay, this technique is going to create a lot of flexibility inside your design. So again, scale, S for scale, hit the return key. Let's scale this up at 110%. So command D, another 110%. In fact, let's rotate these. Let's rotate these from their own center point. How can I do that from their own center point? I can do that by going to the object menu. And if you have the object, it's under the object menu based on what you've selected. Object transform, transform each. So we're going to rotate each one 45 degrees from the center. So if I hit OK, that's what it did. It rotated from the center. Command D does it again. Command D does it again. Command D does it again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So these techniques are very, very powerful. Take advantage of them. Take advantage of holding down the command key to select something. This way you're not going up here every 10 seconds to select. So follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash think, learn, earn. The whole objective of my techniques is to make you more marketable, to have a better skill set so you're better than the next person, so therefore you can create more money. So follow me on Facebook. I'm sorry, like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at Adobe Videos. And of course, subscribe and like this video on YouTube. Thank you.